Hi everybody, Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at this Buzz Lightyear action figure made by Mattel in 2006. This is a really unique Buzz. He has a yellow color scheme and everything. He has a helmet. He has the decals um, for his Space Ranger stickers and his Lightyear stickers. They're just decals. They're not actually stickers of any kind. They're just painted in there. Uh, the one thing I really like about this guy is his um, helmet. It's completely clear. The face sculpt isn't bad, but I just like this helmet. I believe this came out during the Toy Story and Beyond line of figures back in 2006. Because um, when we look at this inscription right here, it says 2006 Hasbro. So actually this was Hasbro. This wasn't Mattel. So that's really interesting. And taking a look at the back of him, you can see this little um, hole right there for his jet pack. Um, I believe he came with some kind of accessory or something that you could plug right in there. Um, one thing I noticed about this guy when I first picked him up is... I've never seen him before. Now, when I did my research on him, I found out they actually made this guy in blue, orange, red, green, purple, gray, and in like a multiverse of colors. I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way, because th I've seen lots of color schemes on this guy that they weren't even in the movie. They were just made to sell toys and stuff. But I think it's actually unique because this color scheme is not in the movie. But what I like about him is his some of his details. Like if we look at his rocket uh, decal right here on his arm, that has really good detail. Um, there's some really good detail in his hands. You can see they, they colored that in. Um, in the movie it was um, green and purple for his fingers, but... Here it's yellow. Same thing with this side. Um, no decal here for um, his laser button, but it does have a peg hole right here. So uh, I think that's where you would pour it in a dart or something to, um, for his laser arm. And as far as uh, articulation goes, um, he doesn't have much of that. His, his head doesn't move whatsoever. His helmet is not retractable. Um, but his arms can rotate quite a bit. Um, his hands don't individually move, but you can move his wrist pretty far. And his arms, they can't rotate a full 360, but they can push outward, which is interesting because there's a joint right here where he could move up, move out that far and actually move back. And Looking at his feet, his feet can kick backward pretty far and they can go forward pretty far, but they don't bend at the knees or anything. So you could get this guy in like a sitting pose or a crouching pose, but that's pretty much it. And what's really interesting is this brown that they used um, on his boots right here. I think that's really interesting because his boots here would be colored green and instead they're yellow. Uh, but that's pretty much the only part that's really colored in. On his feet right here, they're, they're gray. Um, so I, I don't really have much more to say about it, except for it's, it's a unique little figure to have. It stands at like four and a half inches tall, but it's, it's wider and it's pretty bigger than a standard Buzz Lightyear figure. Um, the reason why I picked him up is because he's really old. He's from 2006. So a lot of good figures came in during that time. And for comparison, I'm going to bring in a modern um, Buzz Lightyear toy made by Mattel. And as you can see, this one is actually the right color scheme. Um, it's a little bit bigger than this guy right here, but not by much. And of course, this guy has so much better articulation and his arms, knees, his feet, and everything. His head can fully rotate. 
Um, there is another version of this that comes with a helmet, but most of the ones you see in the stores right now actually don't have a helmet. And if they do, they're foggy, they're not clear. So I went with this one right here. Uh, the only unfortunate thing about him is that if we look at his um, jet pack and his wings, they're not really detailed. Like his screws right here aren't even colored in. They're just um, put there. And I dislike that because um, Buzz in the movie has so much more detail on his hands. Right here, there's no color on his hands. There's no color on his jetpack. So I'm not really a big fan of these modern day uh, Mattel figures, but they're okay. They got really good articulation and everything, but that's about it. So uh, that's these two guys next to each other. Um, this guy right here, I would recommend picking him up, but I would definitely recommend picking him up in green, not yellow, because in the movie, Buzz is green and purple, and that version actually comes with um, his wings. Um, the blue version of this, I believe he comes with like a water gun or a water squirter of some sort, but um, I wasn't really a fan of that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments down below, um, if you have this Buzz Lightyear toy and what you think of it and which different variation of him do you have. Um, and once we reach 500 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a Toy Story collection video. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.